Hi, my name is Allie Voiden, and this is my final reflection for my learning project for Ecomp 355. We were given the unique assignment to choose anything we'd like and use internet resources to learn it. I chose to learn how to make felt food. At first, I thought this was going to be a fairly simple and enjoyable task, but I have to say, this has become a very challenging but rewarding experience. The first thing I had to do was learn to sew. So what did I do? I headed to Google to get all sorts of tips. From there, I used YouTube to learn how to thread a sewing machine. This was one of the most challenging parts of my entire project. You would not believe how long it took me to figure out how to thread a sewing machine. Once I had that going, I headed out in search of some inspiration. I used Pinterest to discover all sorts of felt food blogs and ideas, as well as Flickr. There's a wonderful Flickr site full of felt food ideas. Once I got going, I did run into a few problems, a few bumps here and there, but for the most part, I could consider this project a success. I tracked my progress on my blog. Here I was able to post pictures of projects, updates, links to blogs where I got ideas from, create slideshows of my projects, and post YouTube videos about my progress. I was also able to create a page that had links to other related information that I found useful during this learning project. My final project for this assignment was to create a felt cake. This project was a lot more challenging than the others because it was quite a bit larger and it was a three more 3D than the other ones so I had to sew with a different style and I had to use different type of stuffing and it required a lot more detail. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I was able to add different features that um, hadn't included in other objects that allow the kids to add different decorations to the cake and Velcro them on. So that was a nice touch. I'm really glad I decided to throw that in at the end to shake things up a bit. I did attempt to use Twitter, hashtags especially, to reach out to others through this project. However, I didn't take the time to follow a bunch of sewers. Perhaps that could have been an area for improvement. I just didn't want to have to redo my PLN from educators to sewers and then undo it after this project. But in the future, that is something I would highly recommend. Maybe I could make a different Twitter account just for that reason. I am really grateful to have had the opportunity to engage in this learning project. I know that this felt food will be a wonderful addition to a center. Um, they're natural material that I am proud to say I made, and I can see the kids having a lot of fun with them. This is also a really transferable skill that I know will be useful to me in the future. Thank you for listening, and thank you for this opportunity to learn in the open.